how to test and verify if your YubiKey is genuine and functioning as designed. If you recently bought a YubiKey and you didn't buy it from yubico.com's store, then you might want to verify the authenticity of your YubiKey. On the internet, there are many third-party resellers of the Yubico YubiKey. For example, if you bought your YubiKey on Amazon.com and you didn't buy it from the Yubico's Amazon store, then again, it is a good idea to check if it's genuine. Now, if you don't already own a YubiKey, then I'll put my Amazon affiliate links to the YubiKey 5C NFC and the YubiKey 5 NFC regular USB-A version instead of the USB-C model. Once you've got your YubiKey in hand, navigate to yubico.com slash genuine. Once you're here, you'll be on Yubico's YubiKey verification. Here you can verify your YubiKey by testing to see if it's a genuine one. So what we'll first need to do is insert our security key, click verify device and follow the instructions. So I'll first need to plug in my YubiKey before I click on verify device. So give me a second, I'm just going to plug in my YubiKey now. So I've just done that. Once you've plugged in your YubiKey, click on verify device. Now I'm on Windows, but if you're not on Windows, you can follow the instructions that are displayed on this web page. Because I'm on Windows, I'm greeted with the Windows security alert, which prompts me to choose where to save this pass key. You have iPhone, iPad or Android device. You have more choices here or you have security key. Now, of course, YubiKey is a security key. So I'm going to click on security key to select it. And then I'm going to click on next. The next prompt says security key setup. Set up your security key to sign into yubico.com as, and then there's an alphanumeric code here. This request comes from the app chrome.exe by Google LLC. This of course is the browser I'm using. So you have the option to click on cancel or okay. I'm going to click on okay. Continue setup. This will let yubico.com see the maker model of your security key. Again, you got two options either to cancel or okay. I'm going to click on okay. And then Windows security asks us to continue setup by touching our security key. So it says touch your security key. So what I'm going to need to do on my Yubico 5C NFC is touch the Y in the middle of your YubiKey. Once done, it will say pass key saved. You can now use your security key to sign into yubico.com. Now, depending on your OS, the prompts might be different. I'm on Windows, so this is exactly what I see. So I'm just going to click on OK now. And then as you can see, under verify your YubiKey, it says verification complete with a green check mark. YubiKey device verified. YubiKey 5 NFC. YubiKey 5 5C NFC. I'm using the 5C NFC model. Firmware version of my YubiKey is 5.4.3 and it is FIDO FIDO L1 certified. Okay, great. So we've verified that our YubiKey is a genuine device product. Now, if you have another YubiKey, you can verify a second device. Now, I will verify another YubiKey that I own for this video demonstration. And this is because you may have been prompted to enter a PIN when you were going through the YubiKey verification. Now, YubiKeys and security keys do not have a default PIN set from the factory. So if if you were prompted to enter a pin, that is a FIDO2 pin or FIDO2 pin. And because you obviously don't know it, you'll need to reset it. Let me show you what you might be greeted with, and then I'll tell you what you need to do to reset the FIDO2 pin. So I'm just going to plug in my other YubiKey, and then I'm going to click on verify another device. I'm going to click on security key, next, okay, continue. And then as you can see, I'm being prompted for a security key pin. Now, of course, your YubiKey is new, so you don't actually know your pin. I know my pin, so I'm just going to enter my pin in now. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on OK. And then all I need to do is tap on the Y in the middle of my physical YubiKey. Again, I see passkey saved. You can now use your security key to sign into yubico.com. I'm just going to click on OK. And there we go. Again, the verification is complete. Yubico device verified. And this time my YubiKey was a YubiKey 5 NFC. So the USB type A, not the USB type C version. So as I mentioned earlier, if you are greeted with a security key pin request and you don't know it, this is your FIDO2 pin. And you'll need to reset it using the YubiKey manager for example. So in one of my next upcoming videos, I'll show you how to set and reset, in this case, your FIDO pin using YubiKey Manager. If you're watching this video sometime in the future, I've probably already made the video and I'll put it as a card at the top right hand corner of this video and in this video's description below. This is extremely rare that your YubiKey will require a FIDO2 pin as they come straight from the factory without a default pin. Okay, so I've pretty much covered everything about YubiKey verification. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.